I, I want to flip it just to the other side for a minute. You know, yeah. while you can homeschool your child, mm -hmm. um, I do have so many clients that come to me um, struggling because there are a few things mm -hmm. that I see, you know, with special needs parents is that if they're pulling their child out of public school, they try to fix everything that went wrong immediately. You know, we, yeah. there's a, I think there's a sense uh -huh. that we want to prove not necessarily mm -hmm. in the public school wrong, but that we can do this, right. um, you know, and we try to fix all of the things that our child hasn't learned or where their mm -hmm. deficits may be, and we want them fixed quickly. Yeah. And we're going to do whatever we can to get that done. And mm -hmm. it just, it just does not happen that way. It can be years before even minimal progress is seen, depending on the environment that your child was mm -hmm. in, depending on how they learn depending on their diagnosis, you know, there's a whole multi multitude of layers that have to be mm -hmm. looked at. So it can be years before you see progress with your child. And, and I'll go back to my, my oldest and use math as an example. It was almost two years before we saw significant progress in math. Mm -hmm. And there's days that you feel like you're beating your head against the wall, you know, like, <laughs> Yes, why? <laughs> why and how am I doing this? Like we're uh -huh. not getting anywhere. How does this happen? Uh huh. You know? And then exactly. And then I have a flip side of parents who have children with pretty profound medical needs, mm -hmm. where the medical needs and the doctor's appointments will take up you know a good portion of their day. Exactly. And they're getting home saying, you know, how am I ever going to squeeze in homeschooling? We've been at the doctors for 12 hours today yeah. doing testing yeah. and everything else. Mm -hmm. And it just results in burnout because um, mm -hmm. they, they feel like they can't get everything in, at least little time for everything else. Right. You know, they're always, they always feel like that they're not doing enough, enough. for exactly. their child. So that, those are just some things to be aware of. Um, mm -hmm and to take into consideration. Right. Yeah, but, you know, like for those parents, the, the thing that they need to understand is that there are seasons yes. when medical things are necessary. And whether they were in a public school or not, they were still getting more education in the car with you. Yes. When you talk to them, when you're just having general family time and discussions, then if you were trying to even rush them to school or to shove things down, you know, into right. them that the school said that they had to learn that week and yes. they would just be more frustrated. It's that piece that's in your home that's going to allow even general learning to happen over time.